are welcome to the MVTI Learning Channel. My name is Samuel Pukwama, your Masonry Instructor for Science and Calculation. Topic is quantity of concrete materials. By the end of this lesson, you will be able to know the material in concrete mixture, calculate for the total ratio, batch concrete materials, and calculate the volume of materials in concrete mixture. I believe your trade theory teacher took you through concrete production. Before you calculate for concrete materials, first of all, you must understand the definition of concrete. Concrete can be defined as a mixture of cement, that is a binder, fine aggregate, which is sand, coarse aggregate, which is stone, and reasonable amount of water. Now, after knowing the definition of concrete, you must also know the materials which are used in the production of concrete. One of the materials is cement, fine aggregates, coarse aggregates, and water. You must be able to calculate the volume of all these materials. Now, let's look at the mixed proportion. We have two major mixed proportions in concrete production. One is, one is to three is to six, which means one part of cement, three part of sand, and six part of stone. Then we also have reinforcement concrete, which is one is to two is to four, which means one part of cement, two part of sand, and four part of stone. After knowing these materials which are used for production of concrete, we go forward to the calculation of the materials. Before you calculate the materials, you must be able to know the following. One, the volume of the concrete, which is the volume of the entire concrete material. For example, if you are giving a room to concrete, you must know the total volume of the concrete being used. And the total concrete involves the sand, the cement, and the stone. Two, you must also know the mix ratio. That is the two ratio I talked about earlier which is the reinforcement concrete and then the mass concrete. Now, ratio calculation. Now that we know one is to two is to four and one is to three is to six. To get the total ratio, you must add one plus two plus four, which will give you a total of seven for mass concrete. And for reinforcement concrete, you add one plus three plus six, which will give you a total of 10. Now, let us look at how to calculate the volume of concrete. Let's start by calculating the volume of cement. If you want to calculate the volume of cement, you must first of all know your total ratio, and then also know the volume of cement. Now, after knowing the total ratio and the volume of cement, you must also know the total volume of the concrete. So for cement, we we'll have one over 10, that is one over the total times the total volume of the concrete. Two, sand. For volume of sand, because we know the volume of, the ratio for sand is three, we'll divide the three by 10 and multiply by the, the total volume of the concrete. Then we come to stone. To get the total volume or the volume of stone, you also divide six, which is the ratio for stone, by the total volume, and then multiply by the total volume of concrete that was calculated earlier. Since you know the various ratio and how to calculate the volume of each material, I would like us to take these few examples. Example one, and I read, a volume of concrete, 20 meter cube, should be produced using a mix ratio of one is to three is to six. Calculate the volume of cement, sand, and stone required. That's a very good question. And when you look at the question critically, here you have been given 
the total volume of concrete. In some instances, you need to calculate the total volume of concrete. But here, it has been done for you, which makes even your work more easier. You must also know the type of ratio being given. And by the question, we know that we have been given a ratio which is what? Mass concrete. Before you calculate any question, you must first of all come up with the data. You may ask, why do you need the data? The data is there to bring out some of the information in the question that you will need for your solution. So first of all, I want to start with the data. And I will start with required. Required means that what the question is demanding you to calculate. So over here we say to calculate the volume of one, cement, two, sand, and three, stone. Now, you must also bring out the total volume of concrete produced, and that is 20 meter cube, and also the ratio. Now, here you have to sum up the ratio by adding one plus three plus six, which will amount to 10. After preparing your data, you move straight to your solution. Now, let us look at the solution. First of all, you look at the total ratio, which is 1 plus 3 plus 6, which is 10. Then we have I, volume of cement. Now, volume of cement, you see 1 over 10, which means 1 represents the cement ratio and 10 represents the total ratio. And then multiply it by the total volume of concrete produced. When you're able to do this, you are going to get two meter cube. So two meter cube of cement is found within the concrete mixture that we're given. II, volume of sand. The ratio for the volume of sand is three. Therefore, we divide the three by the total volume, which is 10, and then multiply it by the total volume of concrete and we'll come up with an answer which is six meter cube. So it also means that six meter cube was also out of the total volume of concrete that was given. Then I, 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 volume of stone. Ratio given for the volume of stone is six. So you therefore divide the six by the total volume. Then multiply it by 20 meter cube, which is the total volume of concrete. And you also come up with an answer which is 12 meter cube. Now, you may have a doubt in your calculation, so you want to prove it to check whether you can get your total volume of concrete. In so doing, you have to add all the answers. So you add 2 plus 6 plus 12. And when you do that, you get exactly 20, which is the same as the volume of concrete produced. And that is the solution for the question above. Now, let us look at another example, which is example number two. And I read, a mass concrete has a volume of 450 meter cube. Calculate for the volume of cement, sand, and stone. If the mixed ratio is one is to three is to six. Now, here, we are also being given the total volume of concrete. So we don't need to calculate the total volume of concrete. We are also given a ratio of one is to three is to six. So when you look at the first example and the second example, they are very similar. Just that the total volume of concrete is different. As I said earlier on, before you calculate any question, you must first of all come up with the data. So first of all, I want to start with the data. And I will start with required. So over here, we say to calculate the volume of one, cement, two, sand, and three, stone. Now, you must also bring out the total volume of concrete produced. And that is, the total volume of concrete is 450 meter cube. Now that we have our data, we can move forward to solve the question. Now, before you do that, you must also find out your total ratio. So you add one plus three plus six, which will be equal to 10. After getting the total ratio, 
Then you move forward to calculate the volume of each material. You start by finding the volume of cement. Now, what is the ratio for cement? We know from the question that the ratio for cement is 1. So we therefore divide the 1 by the total ratio given and multiply it by the total volume of concrete produced. And to do that, you use your calculator and then you finally get an answer of 45 meter cube. From there, you move forward to find the volume of sun. The volume of sun, since the ratio for sun is also 3, you divide the 3 by 10, which is the total ratio, and then multiply it by 450, which is the total volume of concrete produced. After doing this, you get an answer of 135, which is 135 meter cube. Then move forward to find the final, that is the volume of stones. Now, we also know that the volume of the ratio for stone is 6. So we also divide the 6 by the total ratio and multiply it by 450, which is the total volume of concrete. You also arrive at an answer, which is 270 meter cube. After doing this, you can also check to prove whether your answer is correct. By doing this, you have to add the volume of cement that you got plus the volume of sand plus the volume of stone. After adding these three, you arrive at a total volume of 450, which is the same as the total volume produced given in the question. I want us to look at the third example where we will not be given the total volume of concrete produced, which means we need to calculate the volume of concrete produced. So example three will come up with a diagram so that it will differentiate the two examples we've done earlier. Example three, the figure below is a cross section of a concrete floor for a classroom block. Calculate for A, volume of concrete, B, volume of cement, sand, and stone, using a mixed ratio of one is to two is to four. Now, you can also see a diagram below. And the diagram below represents the classroom that the question mentioned. And you can see three dimensions, which will give you the volume. And we say volume has three dimensional areas. You can see 14.2, which represents the length of the classroom. You can also see 10.5, which also represents the breadth of the classroom. And you can also see 0 0.15, which is the thickness of the classroom. Based on this, I want to give you some small information over here. Now, let's assume that you are asked to calculate the volume of concrete material for a particular room. First of all, you need to take a, have a tape measure. Measure the length, measure the breadth, and also measure the thickness of the concrete over there. Now, after knowing this, then you can proceed by calculating the volume of each material. And I believe before you do that, you must also know the ratio being given. So over here in our question, we're giving a ratio of one is to two is to four, which represents reinforcement concrete. As I said earlier, before you tackle any question, you must first of all come up with the data. So our data here, we have a required, which means, which says one, calculates volume of concrete, B, volume of cement, sand, and stone. And then we'll have a drawing by giving the length of the measurement in the drawing, the breadth of the measurement in the drawing, and then the thickness of also the drawing given. And then you also have your total ratio by adding one plus two plus four, which is equal to seven, which means our total ratio for this particular question is seven. Now, the solution, we first of all need to calculate the volume of concrete. The earlier ones, we didn't calculate the volume of concrete, but here, we were not given the volume of concrete. So you need to calculate the volume of concrete before you can calculate the volume of each material. How do you calculate the volume of concrete? 
Then you will state the formula first. That is, volume of concrete is equal to length times breadth times thickness, which is the length of the diagram given, the breadth of the diagram given, and the thickness of the diagram given. And the length, according to the question, is 14.2 by 10.5 by 0 0.15 will give you 21.85. And that gives you the total volume of concrete produced. Now, after knowing the total volume of concrete produced, you then proceed forward to calculate the volume of each material. One, volume of cement. Since we know the ratio for cement is one, we divide one by the total ratio, which is seven, and multiply it by the total volume of concrete produced, which is 21.85. Now, when you do that, you get an answer of 3.55 meter cube, and that gives you the volume of cement. The volume of sand is also equal to two over seven, which is two represents the ratio for sun and seven represent the total ratio and then multiply it by the total volume given. You move on to the volume of stone, which is four over seven and then multiply it by the total volume given. The four represent the ratio for stone and the seven represents the total ratio and then 21.85, the volume of concrete produced, which you calculated earlier. And that will give you 14.20 meter cube. In summary, you now know the materials in concrete mist. You can calculate the total ratio and then batching of concrete materials. Calculate the volume of material, that's cement, sand, and then stone. Also soon, we have come to the end of our class. I believe you have enjoyed the class. Hope to see you next time. Bye-bye.